Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Adobe Premiere Pro low on system memory best method. So let's get started. So here we are and the first thing we need to do is click here on the edit tab right here and click here on preferences and go here into media cache. Click on that and from here uh, it would take some time for the tab to appear so just be patient and here it is so from here in the media cache what you want to do is you want to delete the media cache right here click here on delete and click on ok delete unused media cache files click on ok and it would uh the deletion process or duration would vary depending on how much media cache files you have stored over time so if you've been using this premiere pro for a very long time chances are you have a very big media cache file so you want to delete and clear that out so that you would have more memory and once you have done this then you can test out if this has solved your problem if not then you can click here into memory and from here you want to make sure that the uh, RAM shared by your Adobe apps right here is 8 gigabytes or higher so you want to make sure of that so in my case I have 26 gigabytes uh, reserved for my Adobe applications right here and the RAM reserved for other applications basically you want to make this as small as possible to have the uh, biggest possible RAM shared by your Adobe apps and you can see your installed RAM right here how much RAM you have in total and after you have set this into 8 or above then you can test out if that has solved your problem if not then you can try closing other apps that you are using while you are using your adobe apps in that way you would have more space for your memory but if not if that doesn't solve your problem then now we can uh, just close this right here click on ok and from here basically we're just gonna click here on sequence and then from here you can click on delete render file so this is a really good method on how you can clear your memory because chances are if you haven't been deleting your render files is you have uh, a lot to process here on your computer so you might want to delete your render files occasionally especially if you've been here in this project for a long time already but as you can see mine is grayed out that is because i have already deleted that so if this is available for you then you would want to click on delete render files so that is basically it on this for this video i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching